talking about turns, I, I think it's also interesting that you that you mentioned how uh, yaw, um, how the order matters. So like you want to yeah. roll and then yaw instead right. of yaw and then roll. And yeah. um, so would you say like ge- just just talking generally here, just as sure. kind of like a blanket statement, would you say that yaw is essentially to uh, it is sort of like the the you're sort of accenting the other inputs like yaw is just sort of like a thing that you use to correct other inputs like so you use it after the other inputs in and just like in general terms like for normal type of flying what what would you say about that statement yeah in well in general terms what is the what is the yaw input to the the yaw input essentially it does two things it changes it changes as I, as I call it in the book, it's the shifter of perspectives. And in this case, perspective is a function of two things. So it means the visual vantage through the FPV camera. So when you input a yaw command, it's going to change the, you know, where, where you're looking, essentially. But and, and then again, it's also going to change the relative meaning of the pitch and roll inputs. I know I keep saying that. It's, a diff- it's kind of difficult to, to describe. To, well, as a, as a visual, like what Adam is talking about here is in, in particular this segment in chapter 18 where i'm talking about coordinated turning and how input order matters so basically like this this is what the correct sequence of inputs should be when you're making a coordinated turn and the reason for it is because this is that if you issue a yaw command first you're you're, all you're doing is sort of shifting the quadcopter's relative orientation and then when you go to to make that sort of when you when you roll into the turn and then start pitching back in order to pull the quadcopter through the turn, what's actually happening is is this sort of effect. So basically, you mean to do one thing, but you have not fully compensated for the fact that you have altered the quadcopter's relative orientation, and what you think you're doing is actually not what you're doing. You're 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 issuing a command that's a blatantly incorrect command because you haven't accounted for the fact that the quad is misaligned in its two orientations. Um, kind of, kind of, kind of tough to describe. But then also, the a couple pages after that is where this is one thing that I was actually kind of excited to sort of like stumble into and discover, and was you know really excited to kind of share in the book was this you know the the concept of like how the yaw command uh, in in concert with you know the cyclic stick affects um, turning radius, I guess while you're while you're making a coordinated turn. So obviously, when you're in acro mode, as we all know, if you hold the cyclic stick in a deflected position away from its center origin point, you're constantly issuing a rotational command to the flight controller. So, so long as it stays deflected into, you know, one of the, one of the gimbal's quadrants, it's always going to want to continue rolling over. But now, as we know, when we're making a coordinated turn, we actually, you know, we push the cyclic stick away from the origin. We hold it there. And then by issuing a yaw command, we can actually just hold the sticks in a static position, right? And the quadcopter just continues to make a turn, but it does not rotate itself over. And I get, you know, the question is there is like, well, why? The stick, the stick is in a deflected position. Why is the quadcopter not inverting? And it's basically because while you're continuing to issue that yaw command, you're basically telling the flight controller like, okay, roll over, but yaw down. Roll over, but yaw down. Roll over, but yaw down. It's almost like, as a loose analogy, you can think of it as like, sort of like the moon orbiting the Earth in a way. And in essence, it's a celestial body that has mass. It's attracted to the Earth through gravity. So in a sense, the the moon is always falling towards the Earth, but it never actually makes contact with the Earth because it's in orbit and kind of just like always slips out. So it's the same kind of concept with that, where like when you're issuing a matching yaw input while you're turning, it's like the quadcopter wants to roll itself over, but you're constantly yawing the nose back down. So essentially it's doing, you know, this. It's like roll yaw, roll yaw, roll yaw. And then based on the influence of that yaw command and, you know, the cyclic command, you can you can essentially manipulate the um, the radius of the turn. So you can sharpen the turn or you can, you know, make the turn larger so, i mean i wrote an entire i wrote an entire 10 page chapter on something as seemingly simple as coordinated turning 
which is really anything but.